Llama 4 versus Gemini versus Deepseek versus Gemma 3. Who do you think will win? Today we're gonna see them compete together. We've prepared two sets of tests. On Saturday night, Meta dropped two new Llama 4 models unexpectedly. And I'm talking about Llama 4 Maverick, a 400 billion model, and Llama 4 Scout, a 109 billion model. And these values just refer to the total params. As we are talking about a mixture of expert architecture for both models. And due to this, the active params for both are just 17 billion, which makes them pretty lightweight to run on a GPU. Now I've mentioned the mixture of expert architecture. It means that instead of having just a single big model, Model handling all tasks. You will have different models called experts handling different topics, focused on different topics. For example, you will have the expert focused on math, another one focused on coding, another one on language understanding, and so on. And this is pretty good for both performance and optimization because you can just load the experts you are using on a specific moment instead of loading even all the unused params. And that was about the architecture. Now, the most impressive thing is about the context. For example, Llama for Maverick has a context of 1 million tokens, which is impressive for sure, but we have already seen models like this, for example, Gemini 2.0, Flash, and then 2.5 Pro. And in general, the Gemini family had always a large context in the order of 1 million or even 2 million tokens. So pretty good, but that's not the first time we've seen a model like this. But the crazy thing is about the context of the Llama for Scouts. Actually, it has a context of 10 million tokens. And yeah, this is a record. <laughs> we've never seen a model like this. We'll talk again about the context later because there are some problems behind this number. Right now I'm inside the meta blog. And and if you take a look here, they're saying that Llama 4 Scout, so the smallest one, is able to outperform Gemini 3, Gemini 2.0 Flash Lite, and even Mistral 3.1. They say that Llama 4 Maverick, so the 400 billion, is able to beat GPT 4.0, Gemini 2.0 Flash, and even Deepseek V3.1. Maybe it is real, but remember that these are just some serious claims. Now, if we scroll down, we'll find two benchmarks. The first one about Llama Maverick, so the 400 billion model. If you take a look at the values, this model seems to be an absolute beast under every aspect. For the math, for the language understanding for decoding every aspect and the same even for the Llama for Scout benchmarks. Even in this case it seems to be a beast under every aspect of course compared to the models belonging to its side. If we just take a look at the meta post we'll understand that uh, these two new models are really impressive under every aspect and they are the best of their genres. The problems appear once we open Twitter and we search for Llama 4. You will see a lot of people complaining about uh, their performances. The performances found by the users when testing these new models don't match the ones reported in the official benchmarks. And this is a big problem. But the biggest problem is when this post came out. We have to analyze the Reddit post, which was published by Dan Meta Insider. It says, company leadership suggested blending test sets from various benchmarks during the post-training process. I don't know if it is real. If what he's saying is real, this is really unacceptable. It means that the benchmark results were altered during the post-training process in order to have better results at the benchmarks. And based on what a lot of users are saying about, for example, coding performances, reasoning performances, and other stuff, what this guy is saying can be real. And another critical problem is about the context. As we've seen, they pushed a lot about the context sides. 1 million for Maverick and 10 million for Scouts. And according to this benchmark, and this is not an official benchmark, so probably is more accurate. The performances for long context deep comprehension are really poor. I mean, if you just take a look at this table, the worst ones are Llama for Maverick and Scouts. As the prompt size increases, the performances get worse. I think that maybe this is the worst problem because the extremely large context was the real record of this model. Anyway, today we are here specifically for this reason. We'll test everything together, both models, and we will compare them with a lot of different models. So from Gemini, Deepseek, and Gemma. So let's start. So here we have the first set of tests. In this case, we are comparing Llama 4 Scout, which is the small Llama 4 model, with Gemini 2.0 Flash Lite and Gemma 3.27 billion. We've picked these two, Gemini and Gemma, because if we take a look at the official Llama 4 Scout benchmarks provided by Meta, we are comparing it specifically with Gemma 3.27 billion, Gemini, uh, the light version, so 2.0 flashlight, and a couple of other models, such as Mistral 3.124 billion and the previous generations of Llama models. So we've just picked Gemma 3 and Gemina 2.0 flashlight. Okay, so let's start with the first test. Who won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 2024? So this is interesting. We all know that uh, an LLM should not be used for gathering information, for example, for getting dates or precise names or other simple things we can just search on Google. However, in this case, I just want to, first of all, check if all these models were trained with the recent data. And also, I want to check for hallucinations. It is important for this model not to invent new names or new dates or in general, just having hallucinations. So I want to avoid this. Here we have the three tabs. From Open Router, I'm going to test Llama for Scouts. So here is the prompt. 
okay, yeah, uh, this is a pretty good response. So it says that uh, is not aware of information about Nobel Prize winners in 2024. Yeah, because the knowledge cutoff is December 2023. Okay, perfect. Now, for this reason, I'm going to set up fail, but for me, it is still a good answer. Let's proceed with the Gemini Twin Zero flashlight. The good thing is that we don't have hallucinations, and at the same time, it is a fail. Now, let's check Gemma 3, 27 billion. Okay, this is wrong. I mean, if we search for this, yeah, this is just an hallucination. So instead of saying me that uh, the data I was requesting was just too recent, it simply answered me with a wrong name. So Dale 3 failed, but the worst one is Gemma 3, for sure. Next one, this is the typical test for testing the reasoning capabilities of small models. So let's try with Lama for Scout. It says, how many hairs in strawberry? I think you already know about uh, this test. And as you can see, Lama for Scouts gave a wrong answer. <laughs> so basically, in this case, we are asking for how many hairs there are in the word strawberry. And the correct answer is three. As you can see, there are one here and the other two here. However, in the majority of cases, when you ask about the number of hairs together with the word strawberry, most likely you are asking for the two final hairs. And because in this case, it is always based on the statistics without real reasoning capabilities. So models ends up answering just for the two errors. This is not good, so it is a fail. Next, let's try with Gemini 210 flashlight. Okay, so Gemini 210 flashlight gave a correct answer. V, so for us it is a pass. And now let's see Gemma. Okay, the answer is not so good. However, it gave the correct answer. So three errors in the word strawberry. Good. So even for Gemma, it is a pass. Next one. Okay, it is about coding. It says create a web simulation of a rotating hexagon with a ball inside of it, bouncing with realistic gravity. Usually a task like this is not so complex for a flagship model, for example, Gemini 215 Pro or Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. It is pretty easy. We've seen ton of similar examples. But this time we are comparing lightweight models. So Let's send the prompt to Lama4 Scout. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna send even to Gemini 2.0 Flashlight, okay? And even to Gemma. So all three have finished. Scout, Gemini, and Gemma. And here we have the results. This one is from Lama4 Scout. Just refresh it. It is not so fancy. And also, if you pay attention to the uh, movement of the ball, the outer shape is acting as a circle instead of an hexagon, which is not so good. I mean, our for this test, because we are talking about lightweight models, I'm gonna consider this as a pass. Then we have the Gemini results. Here the outer box, as you can see, is a correct hexagon. There are still some problems with the collisions. Even this one I will consider as a good result for being a lightweight model. Consider also that we're talking about uh, first shot completions. So I'm pretty sure that uh, if I would ask for further changes, maybe everything will be fixed. But even in the first shot, we can see that something is working. A little bit buggy for sure, but it is working. And then we have the Gemma results. And yeah, in this case, I cannot consider this as a good result for every aspect. Aspect. I mean, the ball is not bouncing and even the hexagon is not rotating. So this is a fail. Here we have to set a pass for Gemini and a fail for Gemma. Let's jump into the next one, which as you can see is a multimodal test. So here we have a simple math quiz inside an image. We'll be able to test even the multimodal capabilities because here the models have to decode the contents of the image. In this case, a simple group of equations, pretty basic. And then they have to do some reasoning for finding the solutions. So let's jump to the first one, Lama for Scouts. Here is the image. I'm going to say solve it. Okay, let's see. 57, which is the correct answer. For Lama for Scout, it is a pass. Let's see with this one, which is Gemini 20 flashlight. And in the meanwhile, I'm also sending it to Gemma 3, which currently it seems not to support images. First of all, let's see the results from Gemini. And it is correct again. Now I'm picking Gemma 3 from Open Router because it supports images. So solve it. It should be able to do it. And again, even this one is correct. Yeah, it was pretty simple. And now we have the last one for this set of tests, which is another image. This is really interesting. Basically, this involves visual reasoning. As you can see, it says, identify the mirror image of the following figure. So the figure is this one, and you have to take this line, you have to consider it as a mirror, and you have to pick the correct one of these three as the mirrored image. The correct answer is, of course, A, this one, because A, it has to reflect only horizontally in a mirror. Anyway, we'll see what will be the response of our LLMs for today. 
stuck with uh, Llama for Scouts, this is wrong. It gave the C answer, which is not correct. I mean, I know that this image is not so detailed, but I think that everyone will basically choose the A. And I mean, I'm pretty sure this is the correct answer. This is a fail. Next one, Gemini 2.0 flashlight. The correct answer is C again, and it is a fail. Last one, Gemma 3. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Yeah, Gemma was the only one to find the correct answer, which is really impressive. I mean, I didn't expect that. And here is the second and last set of tests for today, in which we'll compare Llama for Maverick, so the big one, the front wheel billion model, with Gemini 2.0 flash. This time, it is not the light version as before. And then we have Dipsic V3.1, so the new version of Dipsic released a couple of weeks ago. I've picked these new models, Gemini and Dipsic, because as before, they are the ones used in the official meta benchmark. They are comparing Llama for Maverick with Gemini 2.0 flash, Dipsic V3.1, and GPT-40. Now, for our tests, we've just picked these three. So Maverick, 2.0 flash, and V3.1. What do you expect from this test? Honestly, I don't know, because we are talking about very different models. They are really different. I mean, Dipsic V3.1 is almost a flagship model. It is able to compare with Gemini 2.5 Pro, so not the 2.0 flash, but the 2.5 Pro, or even Cloud 3.5 and Cloud 3.7. These two are really different. Honestly, I expect Dipsic V3.1 to be the winner. Anyway, we'll see together. So let's hurry up and start with the first test of this set. Yeah, it's about math and it is an integral. So as usual, here we have the Llama for model with open router. This time it is the Maverick one. Then through the Gemini hub, we have the 2.0 flash. And then through the Dipsic chat, we have the V3.1. And pay attention to disable the deep thing in order not to use the R1, which is quite different. Here is the image. I'll just put in the text box, just evaluate. And the same for Gemini and Dipsic. Okay, let's start reviewing the results. So here we have the response from Llama for Maverick. This is the final answer. As you can see, it is a little bit to understand because it is encoded in the LaTeX formats. So I'm just going to copy it and paste into a LaTeX editor. So this is the result. Yes, it is correct. So it means that for Llama for Maverick, it is a pass. Now let's review the Gemini response. So this is the final answer from Gemini. Even this one is right. So even for Gemini to win zero flash, we have a pass, which is really good. I mean, I think that uh, among all these three models, maybe Gemini 2.0 Flash is the more lightweight, the smallest one among these three. But in the same way, remember that uh, this is the only closed source model among these. We don't really know the details about this model. Now, let's review instead the DeepSync V3.1 results. And even this one seems to be correct. It is distributed in another way. Yeah, it is correct. Even this one. And another pass. Next one. This is interesting. It is not about code generation, but it is still related to coding. It says, let int x, y be two integers that represent boolean values. Zero means false and non-zero value means true. How will you check and see that x is true if and only if y is true in a single expression? So let's copy it. And as before, I'm going to paste the same prompt to all three. Here we have the response from Llama for Maverick, which is this one. This one here is formatted again in a LaTeX format, but this time it is pretty understandable and it is correct. So it is a pass. Let's check Gemini. Okay, it is the same exact response as the one from Maverick. So even for Gemini is a pass. Let's check even Dipsic. Yeah, even this one is a pass. So all three were able to find the correct answer. Next, this is a logic quiz and it says there are 27 tennis balls. 26 of them have the same weight and the 27th is a bit heavier. In the worst case scenario, what is the minimum number of weights you need to identify the heavy one by using a two pen balance scale? This is interesting. It is not so difficult. Let's copy it and send to all three. Maverick, Gemini and Dipsy. Let's go. Here is the Maverick response. It said three and yeah, it is right. This is the right answer. So it is a pass. Let's check now Gemini. Yes, it is three. So even a pass for Gemini and even Dipsy. I think this that's are too easy for this model. Let's go ahead. Now we have another logic quiz. It says, a man has 53 socks in his drawer, 21 identical blue, 15 identical black, and 17 identical red. The lights are fused and he is completely in the dark. How many socks must he take how to make 100% certain? He has a pair of black socks. This is tricky. You have to play a little bit with probabilities, but I think it is not so hard. I'm going to send it to the models. And again, we have a correct response from Maverick. 40 is the right answer. Even this time, we have a pass for Maverick, another pass for Gemini, and now let me guess, even a pass for Dipsic? Exactly. Even a Dipsic answer is the correct one. I think that uh, all the quizzes I've picked for this test are too easy for these models. But the one it is really impressing me is Gemini 2.0 Flash. I didn't expect these results. And now let's move on to the last test for today. And it is about coding. More specifically, it says to create a visual Kanban board. If you don't know what a Kanban board is, uh, just think about applications like Trello or in general, sum up about uh, the project management. These are the Kanban boards where you can create tasks and then move on to other columns and so on. So basically in this prompt, I'm asking specific specifically for this. There will be three columns, to do, in progress, and done. The new tasks will be created into the to do column. And also, as nice to have, I put uh, this specification to implement all the drag and drop functionality 
this so that you can drag, for example, a task from a column to another. You can reorder the tasks into the same column and so on. And also I specified to save everything inside the local storage so that you can even refresh the page and you'll see the same data. This is not so easy, especially when talking about the drag and drop functionalities. So let's copy the prompts and put first of all to Maverick, then Gemini, and here we have Lipsy. Okay, here we have the result from Maverick. It seemed to be very short, honestly. However, no, we'll see. In the meanwhile, let's check the Gemini results. Even this one, pretty short. And the Dipsic one, it is still generating. Okay, all three have finished. Dipsic seemed to be the more detailed one. Anyway, let me paste all the source code into different HTML files so that we'll review everything together. Here we can add a new task, task number one. Okay, now let's create a second one, task number two. Okay, instead of moving them, it kind of replaced it. So right now we have two, number two, which I think <laughs> is a problem. Let's try to refresh the page. Okay, the page seems to be stateful. So I think that the local storage specification is working. Let's try to create a new one, task number three, and try to move here. Okay, but now it created three of them. Okay, every time I touch something, it simply multiplies. Yeah, uh, it is really, really raw, and I don't think it is working correctly. I think it is just too buggy to be considered as a good result. So for me, this is a fail, honestly. It is too buggy. Next, we have the result from Gemini 210. Here we can create a new task, task number one, task number two. Let's try to drag and drop. It seems to work. Yeah, let's try to create another one, task number three. So for example, okay, it does not work from the bottom, but from the top, I can drag it down. It is not so fancy, but still better than the result from Maverick. Now let's try to drag into another column. I can put it back. Yes, perfect. Let's try to refresh the page. And still here we have the local storage and it is working. Yeah, th this is quite good. Not so fancy, but it works, which is the important thing for now. So this is a pass. And also even about styling, both are pretty raw, Maverick and Gemini. But in some way, maybe Gemini is a little bit more sophisticated, more structured. Now let's move on to the deep results, which as I said, seem to be the fanciest one. Let's create a new card. So task again, number one, here it is. Here we can even delete. I think that uh, it was the only one to implement the deletion for the tasks, which is a good starting point. Then task number two, let's try to drag. Oh, okay. It is a little bit buggy, but for sure it is the fanciest. Yeah, a, a little bit buggy, honestly. I cannot drag a task from the done column into the in progress, as you can see, but I can do the opposite, which is correct, honestly. Then I can delete them. Yeah, a little bit buggy. I think that uh, the best one was this one from Gemini Flash. Pretty simple. Instead, DeepSeek v3.1 tried to do a lot of other things, a lot of other fancy UI elements, but yeah, uh, it kind of works. So even for DeepSeek v3.1, it is a pass.